All right, hey, it's Mr. Malte. You ready to do some spooky Halloween art? Let's do it. This stuff lives on our digital tools page and our digital art and design, and I've got a bunch of Halloween stuff here. Hopefully your teacher can give you these instructions, and uh, we're just going to do this in slides because that's where I like to create. Once you figure out how to do it with shapes, you can probably make a whole bunch of stuff and figure out how these things work on your own with the instructions, but I'll show you the first few just so you can see some of the shortcuts and some of the ways to use these tools. So let's get going. First, you need a slide. I mean, you can go to a new tab and slides.new. That'll give you a brand new slideshow. Or you can go to a classroom assignment that your teacher's given you and just create a brand new slideshow there with the add or create button. Either way, that's a great way to start. Layout blank. So there you go. In your brand new slideshow, we're going to start with the tombstone. It's going to be great. So going to shapes, and I'm going to use this one, round same side corner rectangle, and click it. it gives you the little crosshairs. I'm going to stretch this one out. I don't mind too much if it skews a little bit because I kind of want it taller than the normal shapes. I'm going to click and drag until it looks tombstone-y. These little orange handles make it more rounded or less rounded. So that's up to you. You can make a decision. I don't want a border, so I'm going to click the border and make it transparent. The paint can change the fill color. The shape has to be selected, of course. Now you could just make it dark gray, but you could also go into your fill color, go to a gradient. If you make it something a little bit more funky, there you go. Cool. It's a little too dark. Maybe I'll look at it slightly lighter. What do I like? Yeah, I like that one. Up to you again. Now, a cool thing in slides and drawings is that when you have a shape selected, if you go to grab another shape, it'll take on the exact same properties, the same color. So I'm going to grab this rounded rectangle and click drag. And by the way, click drag is two hands holding with one. I'm doing my drag with the other. It's the easiest way to do things. I see students all the time I'm trying to drag with one hand. Click drag. It's the easiest. There we go. Looks pretty good. Now I'm going to insert word art. Rest in peace. You wouldn't say that on a real gravestone, of course, but hey, it's Halloween. To make things smaller, you can do it a bunch of ways. You can hold down shift and grab the corner. Oops. You know, resize. But I kind of like a keyboard shortcut. Control Alt. It's right next to your spacebar. Control Alt on a, on a Chromebook. J makes it smaller and K makes it bigger. Control Alt. J and K. And I want it to be a little bit of spooky writing, so I'm going to go to my fonts. I found Creepster. It's kind of cool. Your arrow keys move things around, but you can move things a little bit by holding down the shift key. And again, get some dark shapes. Ooh, there we go. Just like that, got a pretty spooky tombstone. If I want to make more than one, I can click, drag, and I could do a couple things. Control D would make a second one. It's one way. I could also click, drag, control, shift, click and hold and drag. That's a little bit harder. I'm holding down control shift, click, drag. It keeps it level. See that? The red line, control shift, drag, control shift, drag. It's a bit more difficult to do, but Boy, is it fast. I mean, if I want to fill up a whole page, I can just do this. Vroom. Control shift, click, drag, click. Oh, I didn't get the bottom. Invisible box, control shift, click, drag, click, drag. Tombstone City. All right. So we learned a few things shapes, word art, uh, control D duplicates, uh, control. Alt, J, and K is size. And then you have click, select something, control, shift, click, drag, or just your regular old, whoops, control, D. Both work just fine. Cool. Let's make some more stuff. Let's do some jack-o'-lanterns. I'm going to make a brand new slide with a little new slide with layout, and I just made a blank one. Again, I'm going to shapes. Grabbing a little circle, 
click, drag to make it an oval. Click the border, transparent. You can make this orange like a jack o' lantern. Control, shift, drag. Control, shift, drag. Boom. It's a little small. Click, drag for the box. Control, alt, K, K. Nice. More shapes, I need some eyes. Now, you know what? I could just grab triangles, but I don't want it to be that perfect. I want to make it look like I kind of carved it out. So I'm going to go down and grab my polyline. Click, move, click, move, click, move, and boom. I could probably leave the border, but I want to make it yellow. Do I like the border? Yes or no? Let's see. Give it three. I do not like the border. I'm going to click it again, make it transparent. Nice. Move it a little bit. By the way, that's remember shift and the arrow keys moves it a little bit less than just the arrow keys. Shift moves it one pixel. All right. I'm going to keep it selected because I want that same color. Click, move, click, move, click, move, click, move, boom. Awesome. Come here. Whoop. Hey, nothing there. Keep it selected because I want my mouth to be the same color. Going to shapes, grabbing that crescent, and clicking. Hey, didn't keep my color, but that's okay. Click a shape, paint format, click two times to keep it locked, and you can just paint the whole world. <laughs> control Z, Control Z, Control Z. Escape. All right, I got my crescent. Up, 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 up. Now to rotate, you can use a little handle. You can also go Alt. Arrow keys to the side, and I'm moving with my arrows. So Alt and arrow keys is a little bit of a rotate. Let's see. Nice. I'm going to click that pumpkin color because I want a little bit of those teeth. Grab a square, click, drag, control D. And boom. Need a little core. Could use a shape, but I'd like to draw one. So this time I'm going to use a new tool, the curve tool. Curve is a little bit harder to get, you know, handle on, but it's a click and move and click and move and click and move and click and move. And you can see how I can make all kinds of cool shapes with that. So let's get in there and do the, uh, the little pumpkin stem that comes up. Now, often we need to zoom in and out. Best way to zoom in and out. It's not the Control minus and plus that messes up your browser. The control alt plus and minus, that's minus, control alt plus. That's really the best way to zoom in and out. Control alt plus. And I'm using just two fingers just to move on over. Let's draw this core now. So that was control alt plus minus, and then moving with two fingers. Okay, click and move and click and move and click and move and click and move. There we go. Nice. And, and you know, you might mess up at first with this curve tool. You might start and something happens where you get a line. Just backspace those things. You'll get it. Click and move and click and move and click and move. Boom. Let's make this thing green. Transparent. Control, Alt. Uh, next to the letter P is a square bracket. Brings me back out to normal. Yeah. You can even stretch these things out after. There is my pumpkin, jack-o'-lantern, control D, make a bunch, control alt J, make it smaller, control D, all right, variety of jack-o'-lanterns, look at that go, super duper. Let's see, I'll do one more, let's make a bat. I'm going to click the shapes, grab an oval, I don't need a border. But I do need some color. Oh yeah. I want to keep it selected and grab my triangles. Stretch them out. Control. Shift. Drag. Okay. Now we need some evil eyes. Going to the shapes. Control. Alt. J -j 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 Moving it up. Make them red and evil. Oh yeah. I can control D or 
Control, Shift, Drag, either or. That's looking pretty good. I'm going to go to the Curve tool, grab this. I'm going to make some wings. They can be kind of random. It doesn't really matter. Make them black. Oh, yeah. I don't need a border. Now, if you want to move it down a layer, it's Control and the arrow keys down. But Control, Shift, up straight to the top, control, shift, down, straight to the bottom, kind of move my wings, nice. I'm going to control D, move this thing over. I need to rotate it though, flip it, right click, rotate, flip horizontally, oh yeah. There we go, control, shift, down. There we go, I can line these up. Yeah, see that, there's the line up, I hold down the red line. Okay, there's just a simple bat. If you have other ideas, maybe give it a mouth. You can do what you want with the bat. Um, all these other ones, I think, are pretty much the same, and they're just shapes, and I've gone through and I've shown which shapes they are. Feel free to make your own. I call this the hot dog. I think they call it uh, Terminator in there. They're all named. And I made the superhero. All of these on the instructions, you can see. It's either the curve tool, the polyline tool, or just the shapes and then using the paint to paint them up. So good luck with those. See you in the future.